Well, you bring up a, what I see too as a almost like a, a current that runs through largely the quote anti-vax side, which for me is this idea of body autonomy, right? Um, and I see it a lot in the literature, this idea, you know, my body, my choice on the signs, you know, consent. Some people bring out the, like the Nuremberg trial of, I guess it's like do no harm um, in the medical practice. And again, a lot of largely people say, oh, it's a false equivalency. That's not what's going on here. Um, but for me, I'm curious about that. Like, what is it in this quote, anti-vax side that has this real adherence to this sense of body autonomy as like the, the fulcrum? Because I think it speaks a little bit to what you're saying. It's almost this idea of I'm free from being co-opted by this technocratic agenda, right? There's this idea of like personal liberation from that system. Uh, and yet at the same time, sometimes I also see these, again, these shades of, well, is freedom simply the freedom to not be of consequence to other people? Like, because of the quote pro side says well look your freedom is infringing upon my safety right of you know getting the virus if you decide to be unvaccinated and mingle with us um so i'm just curious where does that come from and your understanding this this uh, adherence or curiosity around that and zamir you want to jump I, in I, I just want to add to that that we can't not take note that we live in a time sort of post me too movement i mean there's this deeper sense of what you don't have to you know, buy into an, you know, the quote unquote anti-vax narrative to now stand in the power of, well, you know what? Consent is something that we have socially accepted as something that is very, very important. It's being discussed in a mm -hmm. wide scale, right? Around the autonomy of our bodies, right? It's, it's something that has, has permeated the social consciousness, right? Right to consent. And even the way in which we're thinking approaching abortion and the outcries that we have when women's bodies are not offered that freedom, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something that I feel like it also has a deeper undercurrent. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You could um, imagine a society and may, may not be a bad society where individual freedom is not the highest priority, uh, in which it's generally accepted that your body is not your own, that it belongs to the collective, and the collective has the right to tell you what to do with your body for the good of all. Mm. To some extent, every society believes this, um, and enforces norms and taboos. Uh, that, that, you know, like, I mean, in some societies, you know, everybody has certain skin piercings, you know, and certain, the, like, does certain practices on their bodies. Uh, and it's just, it's like, well, it is actually a religion. Not every society has freedom of religion, or even holds that as an ideal. And there's no law of the universe that says that our society has to have that. Really what we are talking about here is freedom of religion. When, when, when you understand mm. medical paradigms as part of a mythology, mm. then, then and, and you notice like how congruent medical procedures are with ritual practices. I mean, even like wearing a mask uh, or injecting a potion into your body, undergoing a, you know, a violation of body integrity um, to, to put some magical substance in yourself. Uh, like these are, you know, a little, or, it's a little ordeal that you go through and everybody does it. And that's, that's like, that's, that's why people are so offended by the um, unvaccinated. It's not because they are actually rationally afraid that they're going to be a greater risk. That is becoming more and more obvious as the evidence accumulates that the vaccines aren't working very well, uh, that, you know, the, the, the vaccinated are, are like the vaccines wear off after a few months, you know, you have to get one booster after another, what like Israel is now experiencing like the highest COVID rates in the world, and they have the highest vaccination rates. I mean, there's all kinds of cracks in the facade of the, vac the you know, get the vaccine to protect everybody. Um, it's not entirely rational. There's something else going on here. So really the question is, um, 
but, but, but see, that's irre- in a way irrelevant. Like, like I could say, okay, um, you're not actually protecting others by getting vaccinated. But what if you were? 